Okay, so I've been working on this uh, router table here the last couple of days. So what I'm using is uh, three quarter inch birch plywood, uh, which you can see right here. Um, pretty much just for the main pieces of the router table, obviously the stronger parts. I'm also using a uh, half inch plywood as well. Uh, the plan asked for birch plywood, but um, when I went to the store, they didn't have any half inch birch. So I just got the highest quality half inch plywood I could find. Uh, and <clears throat> really I'm just using that for uh, the spacers for these uh, drawers that are going to go right here. And then I'm going to use them for the drawers that I'm going to build to go down here. You can see I've got the, um, uh, I've got the tracks installed for the drawers that are, going to be installed here. I'll have, I'll have two. I'll have one here and then one down here and then just one big one right here as you can see. Um, so I've got the two bottom ones installed. I just have to do the last one and I'll, I'll do that once I get this first drawer built in. Uh, this will get trimmed out with maple. Um, so any exposed plywood you can see in, in terms of the end grain uh, that'll get covered up. And then you see uh, I don't have the top yet uh, I'm not sure how I want to work the top um, I've got some melamine um, on my lumber rack um, <clears throat> and then this will end up having uh, casters installed on the bottom so I'll put a couple pieces of birch on the bottom here I'll have caster wheels on there uh, so pretty much in terms of assembling the piece um, is you, you, you can see dados you can see rabbits I made a, I made a couple of mistakes when I was measuring out the dados for these two in, inside pieces here. Um, and so <laughs> when I, when I installed it, it was out, it was out of square. So this is eight inches from, from this end to this end here. And then from uh, here to the bottom, uh, the width was from going from eight inches to eight and three sixteenths. So it was out of square. It was driving me nuts. And by the time I realized what had happened, it happened on both. Um, I couldn't, I couldn't just take it apart and and fix it. So what I ended up doing is I just took a Multimax, the Dremel Multimax, which is uh, this thing right here, and um, ended up just having to cut uh, the the essentially through you know, this three quarter inch piece. Um, so I, so I didn't have to take everything apart and mess with this, with this dado that was down here. So I just cut through it. Um, <clears throat> it was kind of a pain in the butt, but not too big of a deal. I had wood screws on the bottom holding it together along with glue. And there were some, um, brads that I had nailed. I, I obviously I couldn't take out the brad. So the multi-max cut right through it kind of messed up the blade, but, um, I don't know it worked so I had to do that for this one this one and then I also was off on this measurement too so this there's a dado up top here and, and, and on the bottom so I had to uh, I cut out the one on the bottom here and moved it over a little bit but now everything's all square and where it's supposed to be um, you can even see here I made a mistake um, there's this dado is not supposed to be here um, it's just supposed to be this one right here but whatever and then this one up here I made a mistake <laughs> so, uh, lots of mistakes, but it'll, it'll, it'll all uh, get covered up with uh, with maple. Um, so yeah, it's uh, I don't know. I think these these were kind of expensive. I want to say the the drawer slides were uh, I don't know maybe fifteen bucks a piece. So that's forty five dollars for the drawer slides. Um, I had a four by eight sheet of um, three quarter inch birch and then the four by eight sheet of the half inch I think it's blonde wood I don't know uh, so I think I think together that was maybe seventy dollars I think <clears throat> so for the wood in these looking up just about 115 120 I don't know I can't do the math off the top of my head um, real quick but that's what I've got in it I've got I already bought the casters those are a couple of bucks a pop too, so you can add that to there. And then um, I've yet to buy, I've yet to get the maple, um, 
that, you know, I don't know, that'll probably be about 40 bucks, I'm assuming. Uh, I, I haven't even looked at the prices on that yet. Um, and then, again, the top. I have no idea what I'm going to do for the top. But um, <clears throat> when I was putting these together, so you'll see the, uh, I had a, shoot, what was this? 23.30 seconds wide dado stack. Um, so 23.30 seconds wide cut, I believe, um, with 7.30 seconds depth. And so I have those. Um, the, the the rabbits that are on the front and all the dados there um, and then I just use Brad a Brad nailer um, to hold everything together I use type on three glue and then once I had everything sort of tacked in place that's when I went ahead and put these wood screws in and they're uh, they're self drilling self drilling wood screws so I uh, didn't have to use a drill bit plus it's birch plywood it's kind of easy to get through I'm not going to really split it so that's what I used. Um, I've got a boss stitch uh, compressor, and um, you know it came with the three air tools. Um, you got this fastener. You got that other nailer. If you're gonna do this, I recommend getting uh, some squares. Um, I use this one here. It's uh, it's made by Crown Tools. Um, I've got a bigger one too. It works great. I've also got this uh, square ruler com uh, combo. Um, works really, really well for um, getting fine cuts. Uh, I'm sorry, making fine markings, fine adjustments, um, and it's you know you can use it as a square as well. It's uh, it's, a, it's a nice it's a nice tool. Anyways, that's it. Um, more to follow on this router table.